So I use this chisel more when I'm trying to be precise, splitting down bigger pieces of stone. It's very common, either bigger or thinner. So you can see on this piece of stone, this is uh, from uh, Quimby Mountain. It's another type of, of uh, metamorphic stone. It's a schist, I believe. Um, and you can see that there's certain points where it's got very clear veins going on. It's always gonna s tend to want to split on those natural veins. And so by using the chisel like a wedge, we should be able to get this to split down fairly easily with this type of stone. And you can see after a couple taps, I've already got a crack going. I'm gonna, on this case, strike around three sides just to keep that crack going all the way down through. You keep hitting in multiple spots so that you're balancing out the pressure on the stone. Otherwise it could tend to crack off through the layer, particularly when you're into thinner layers or weaker stones. There we go. And that shows the real power of a tracing chisel with that finer angle, allows you to get all the way through a stone like that without it breaking apart halfway through. We'll try another slice and see if we can slice this down more. Um, as you get to a, a narrower and narrower thickness of stone, thinner thickness of stone, and with a bigger stone like this, you have to be more careful about how hard you're hitting in any given spot. You can tell a little bit by the sound the rock's making as to how it's splitting with experience. As you're hitting, it should keep starting to sound duller and hollow, echoey like that. Over here, it hasn't split much. It's still sounding pretty hard, pretty sharp. Definitely sticking like that in. That's starting to sound a little more hollow. So I'm, I'm using the sound of the rock to tell where it's still attached well or not. There we go. There's another slice off of it. In many applications, a hammer like the Stone Busters would work fairly well with some stone, but if you're trying to split a thin slab like that, of that size, those blunter angles are not going to allow you to split through the way this chisel will. So it's a pretty specific use. One of the other things this chisel's great for is um, if you have stone that has an existing crack in it. So this is kind of a piece of uh, granitic boulder. This is not normally a tool that you'd use for dressing a boulder, a granite boulder like this, because of that fine angle, the carbide's gonna get damaged if you just start trying to trim into granite with this. However, when you have an existing crack, and this one's nice and visible, because this rock had been uh, sawn with a saw there, um, sometimes you just can get it stuck in an existing crack, or placed on an existing crack, and have great success splitting with that crack. Now, if you're looking for a super precise break, if you gradually move the chisel all along the break, that can help to have a, a super straight break right at the edge. I'm not being too fussy as is typical with dry stone walling. So, there we go. We just cracked that piece on that natural crack that it had in it. A final stone to try. Something that came down in a glacier and ended up here. Um, you can tell it's been tumbled, but you, you can still see the striations. It tells us it's got a grain this way. And again, that's how I'm going to be splitting it with this chisel. Now, on some types of rock, you'll find splitting kind of from the side will work really well and splitting from the end doesn't work as well and with some types of rock it's the opposite and you really focus on splitting from the end rather than the side
Now, if you're interested in efficiency and speed, a bigger, heavier tool, again, like those four pound stone busters, would be much quicker for doing this. This gives a little bit more precision. All right, we're starting to just starting to get a crack in this rock. We'll see how it goes. Whoop. There it goes. So uh, I hope that gives you a sense of what you can do with the tracing chisel. Um, keep in mind that the tracing chisel is not for trimming. We'd be using a uh, mason's chipper or uh, another type of chisel has a, a more blunt angle if you're cutting and trimming against the grain of the stone or if you're working with blocks of granite. This is for primarily splitting with the grain. It's a heavy duty enough chisel, it's built well enough, particularly with softer stone, you can get away with using it in, in other ways. But on this harder stone, you really wanna focus on using it as a splitting tool. Uh, like all of our tools, you can get that right at the Stone Trust website or at any of our workshops. Um, 